Stacy, there's only one game tonight, and the burden of how this national anthem demonstration is handled is not going to be diffused by teams across the nation all taking part. No, all eyes will be on the Packers and the Bears. And as for Green Bay's part, the plan is pretty simple. It's the reaction that remains yet to be seen. The Packers players decided earlier this week that they, along with the coaches and staff, will be linking arms tonight as a show of unity while the national anthem plays across the open air at Lambeau Field. And they have asked fans to join in as well. According to a statement put out by the players Tuesday night, the intention here is to advocate for freedom, equality, tolerance, and understanding while representing a united front against discrimination. We got to come together and talk about these things and grow as a, as a, as a community, as a connected group of individuals in our society. And we're going to continue to show love and unity. And this week we're going to ask the fans to join in as well. This is one of the most diverse workplaces in the world. Like we got guys from all different types of work, all different types of background. We're a walking testimony that it can be done, that you can work with people who aren't like you from different backgrounds to reach a common goal if everybody wants the same thing. What we don't know yet is what the vast majority of the fans will want. How many people will join in and link arms as the Packer players have requested? How many will choose not to and whether or not there will be any vocal opposition, booing or otherwise, because the players plan is very clear. The reaction to that plan is still as of yet undetermined. There has been some blowback, number 12 taking to Instagram today, firing back at the critics of the anthem demonstrations, pointing to the photographers through a little tongue in cheek. He posted this quote saying, I can't imagine what kind of social media attacks these cameramen must be enduring after taking a knee during the anthem and wearing a hat, unquote. And of course, Rodgers also uses social media on game days to give away tickets. But today, the quarterback called an audible, deciding that instead of giving them to fans of the Packers like he usually does, he would instead give them to police officers from the Green Bay area. The scope of this after the national anthem controversy has only grown since Sunday, and it does have some fans thinking about their actions. Many say they're willing to stand for unity, but others have the issue or say the issue has gotten out of hand. NBC 26's Shane Gustafson joins us live at Lambeau with what he's heard so far. 